something with this thing always getting bigger and better and just you know the nfl involved ea fully back in this we have a new studio right. uh, people are gonna want to be a part of it there's millions of people that play madden and you know for years we've been asking ourselves who is the best madden player there's tons of people that think it's them so i'm not surprised that they're taking their shot at coming out here and trying to get it done at the mcs all right, the 2019 Madden Bowl brought to you by New Era, the official cap of the NFL sideline. First down throw coming for Vic. Looks like saying, we're going to get a little guys double guys audio. Right uh oh. A deep downfield throw down the seam, but the play broken up. And look at that. Uh, you're going to have Mike Skimbo in the Patriots uniforms, and there he is on the sideline. He has his own head coach avatar in the game. Mo, you got a coach avatar in the game, too. That's got to be pretty cool, man. I think you might see Crush actually with my coach avatar, so that's pretty neat. Vick to throw. it down the seam. He got it. A big pass. It's complete. How about Skimbo? Just goes back to back. The same play. The first time he thought he had it, didn't execute it. Goes right back to the well. Gets himself a big gain. Woo! I'm extremely excited to see Skimbo play offense. I really am. Uh, I think a lot of people are counting him out, thinking he's not going to play good offense, and that's just never going to be the case with him. So first down after that big game, ball at the 37-yard line. First drive of the game if you're just joining us. Vic dropping back to pass, scanning the field, scanning. Uh -oh. He'll throw it off to the left oh in the double goodness. coverage. Did that get caught? It did. Did that get caught? If you're crushed right now, you're mad. You Come on! Screaming. Into double coverage, and it's complete. Down to the 11. An early scoring opportunity for Skimbo. Just early on, though, Skim said if you're crushed, you might be get mad. But look at that. Crush staying pretty poised, staying locked in. Sure. Looks like the young has matured a little bit. Vic will throw underneath. The spin move gets mixed in a couple yards, but ultimately dropped down at the five. Second down and three to go. I always get a little scared when these guys are going crazy with that, that Joe Mixon. Um, low cap player, doesn't have very high carry. He is going to let that ball go if he gets hit by a big, big hit player. Skimbo is famous for the wheel route right here. Vic. Nothing. Skimbo looking, scanning, just throws it away. Brings up third down. And you'll see that from Skimbo a lot. He's a very mature player. He's not going to force a lot of bad reads. You see him just rolls out. Nothing's there. Clicks in the right stick. That allows him to throw the ball away. Lifts to see another down. Big third down, boys. Third down. Mixon trying to find some space. Got very inches. close. going to be inches, I think. Fourth and wow. inches. He, he played play. this game. He played this game a couple <laughs> times, huh? What do you do here? He's going to go. Uh, you come out on goal line, you're either going to run the toss or the sneak, just depending on what they are. And you got to come out on goal line. That's the problem. It's really tough to have both goal line toss and goal line sneak. And it's, it's hard to disguise which one you're, you're trying to stop. So it's normally easy to tell. Oh, this is good. See, he's going to run sneak. It's going to be tough for him. Oh, he didn't get quarterback that. sneak. Gets I it up to the one, picks up the first ball. down. Now a hurry up offense. Just going to sneak it right back. He likes what he saw. Yep, sure does. And he does the exact same thing, exact same play. This time it results in six. And Skimbo on the board early. You know what? I'll, I'll tell you what. Going into this game, I don't know why, but Mike said he was playing this game with a chip on his shoulder. He said he was going to leave it all out there. He also said he didn't want to let his lab partner, Tony, down. They put in a lot of hard work to get to this point to prepare for this tournament. Look how locked in he looks. Oh, man. I love it. He's got a it. great game face, doesn't I he? It. I love it. And he's not bluffing. He really is that locked in. I mean, this is a guy. He's about his business. He was playing 12 to 16 hours a day getting ready for this tournament. Crush brings the ball out of the end zone. This is a replay of that touchdown. And you're right, that hurry up offense, he liked what he saw and he ran the exact same play and got six on that one. See, Crush is trying to disguise it there. He's trying to make it seem like he's not trying to stop the sneak, but really with his user, he's trying to hit that quarterback, hit stick him and force a fumble, but he just didn't get there. Great call by Skimbo. I would have done the same thing. 7-0 the early score. Hey, let's go! Crush trailing. It's his first drive of the game. Look at, look at Skimbo, boys. He's in the 5-2 defense. This is a new look we see from Skimbo. This is the defense we've seen some serious make all kinds of noise with lately. Dropping back to pass under pressure. Does get the ball off. I was talking to Crush. He feels like he's pretty confident blocking that seven-man blitz. I told him 
Hey, it's going to be tough, buddy. It's, it's hard to block <laughs> seven guys. I don't care how many people you're blocking. I mean, look at all that beef in the box. On second down, Vic scrambling, uh, finds a man, and he's got him deep down the right left side. It's kind of the issue with this defense. If you don't come in right away and sack that quarterback, good chance you're going to give up a big play because you only have three zones out there with your and then your user. It's going to be tough if you're not getting in. It stresses the user defender a lot. You have to do a lot of work with your user defender if you want to do work in this 5-2. His lab mate, Young Kiv, said he believes Crush could make a deep run, and people are sleeping on his skills. Another underneath route. A good I, gain on first down. I just want to point out, I do love the, the route concepts that, that Crush is using because he knows that Skimbo is always going to have that corner over to the right-hand side and a deep blue because he's bringing his safety down. He has no other option to put his corner in. So having that other receiver on a hitch is huge. Throws it into the flats. It's sharp. Picks up the first down. Every Skimbo lost this season, there's only been four of them. Uh, Jordan is bombed, Jay Walt goes, and VY Electrified. It's a pretty good list. He's, he's in a, Skimbo's, Skimbo's the cream of the crop, man. He, he really is. And interesting enough, though, he has struggled a little bit this season in modes like salary cap, where Skimbo made the majority of his money and made his deep run in this particular Madden season. It was at the Madden Classic where we were just playing regs. He's had success in salary cap in the past. It just hasn't been this season so far. Look for the wheel. Vic. going to throw the wheel. Throws to the right side. Pick. Into oh. pressure and picked off. See, if you're crushed, you got to just know. That's the most popular play in the red zone. Everybody motions off that wheel, tries to highball it. If you're crushed, you got to just know Skimbo came prepared. He's going to be ready. He's going to have some sort of thing cooked up to stop only that, if Inside anything. The red zone. Is, oh, this a, is this a bad read? I mean, he was. It's Moss. you got to take was, your chance. Yeah. yeah. You just got to. Yeah, that's the risk. That one-on-one -on -one high ball will work out more often than not, but that's the risk with it. The time it does get knocked out, if there's defenders in the vicinity, they everything. go tip drill. It's kind of it kind of sucks for Crush. He had a pretty good drive, uh, no real sweat, and then he gets down in the red zone, throws a pick the first play. Just, That's just tough. tough. So the interception gives Skimbo another drive. Scanning throws it off to the right. The aggressive catch is made. The 2019 Madden Bowl brought to you by Bose, the official sound of the Madden NFL 19 Championship Series. You know, I'll say this. A fellow competitor did tell me that Crush is a player that can sometimes get a little too emotional. I wonder, after giving up that red zone pick, where his emotions lie right now. It gets tough. Uh, Skimbo's had two of those aggressive catches, one-on-one, uh, -on -one, though. So it gets tough, but you got to just know, trust in your game plan. If you get, a, if you hold him to three here, then you get seven. You're right back in it. So you got to just keep playing. But, yes, Crush does have an issue with that, I would say. I mean, Skim, he's got the personnel to throw a lot of those high balls. I mean, he's got some goons at that receiver core. They're not just hey, normal goons. Those are big body goons. He's got Kenny Galladay, the 97 double, overall. Double, double. Julio Jones, Randy Moss. So these are fast guys, but they're also big bodies that can go up and make those aggressive catches. Time winding down on the first quarter. Skimbo looking for touchdown, touchdown. number two. Scrolling, throws to the right, has a man. What a play. And it's a touchdown. Skimbo jumps out to a 14 after the extra point, a 14 nothing lead. He's always ready. He's always ready. I'm telling you, he's always ready. And you know what? You talk about, you said it at the top uh, before the group started, Mo. He's always trying to find, you know, those little things, doing things nobody does. I don't see a lot of guys with Kenny Galladay in their lineup, but Skim has them and he's already made big plays. Oh, here we go! This oh, man moves oh, one free. Cut, Milton. No, and you've got to be enough. kidding me. What a he play. is gone. That's something you absolutely needed if you're crushed. Make it easy play. on yourself. Absolutely needed that. Oh, my goodness. If you're skim, you're disgusted. That's the way. Plays like that are how you lose John Madden football games. You're up 14 nothing. All the momentum in the world. you got to make your opponent go and work. And then you let him hit you with the to the crimbo on the kickoff. Crush is back. Through Monday, select Madden Ultimate Team points are being discounted up to 
go into Ultimate Team today. The sale ends on April 29th. All right, what a way to end the first quarter. 14 to seven, your score. I mean, a bolt of lightning out of nowhere gets Crush right back into the game. Uh, yeah, Skimbo's had some experience returning those kicks. So, you know, it's tough to give one up, but you gotta, you gotta, you know, it's gonna happen. And uh, you talk to me, Mo. I know as a player, when I would get so frustrated when I would allow something like that to happen. I know I have all the momentum in the world, and I just give it back. I mean, that's frustrating. We're taking a look here at Skimbo's offense. Mo, take me through what you're seeing here. Uh, he's using some players that you're not going to see too much of, like this this Kenny Galladay you're not going to see. Actually, you, you're going to see Moss and Julio, but you're going to see a better version of Moss. I don't think most people are using that 97. Most people are using the actual 99 Ultimate Legend card. So, you know, Skimbo's going to Skimbo's gonna always have some defense out there. He's going to find the best way to score with spending the least amount of cap on offense so he can have some doings on that defense. RG, why do you think Joe Mixon is such a popular card among these competitors? Well, I know exactly why they like that Joe Mixon. Is the spin move is a lot of these players' favorite move when you have the ball carry. You can juke, you can truck, you can spin. Stuff. Spin's their favorite. Joe Mixon is the cheapest cap running back you can get that actually has a good spin move. So a lot of these guys that don't like to run the ball a lot, they said, you know what, I need a budget halfback, but I need one that can spin, and Joe Mixon is that best option. So there you go, second quarter kickoff after the kickoff return for touchdown. So now Skimbo, possession number three, leading 14 to seven. One thing I will say, I, I don't like Crush switching this big nickel defense. I feel like he played pretty good defense on that first drive in the 3-3-5. For him to go to big nickel, I just don't like it. Handoff goes to Mixon. He's gonna test the middle of that defense. A great game there. Second and inches. I really don't like seeing people do the ball carrier move with Mixon, man. It just, as a runner, it just doesn't sit right with me. Eventually, he is going to take a huge hit. There you were on the sideline <laughs> right there, Mo. You're right. Crush has you as his head coach on the sideline. Skimbo's got his own avatar on the sideline. That's just a great example, James, of how much this MCS is growing. I mean, I never would have thought when I was coming up that we would see competitors that's so with cool. their avatars in the sideline, coaching for the team that they're playing for, for big cash. I mean, we've cool. come a long way. That Definitely so the cool. coolest thing I've ever been a part of. You know, my mom's posting it on Facebook. You know, it's the coolest thing ever. Everybody's thinking I'm some superstar. It's awesome. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Skimbo, as advertised, looking great on offense, picking up first downs oh, with he's locked. Now he's rolling out under pressure. We'll throw it away. The yes. one thing I hear about Skimbo repeatedly is the fact that this man does not make mistakes. And he doesn't take sacks. You will not see him take a sack. Some people are a little prideful about that completion percentage. Nope, Skimbo's throwing that ball away, <laughs> moving on to the next down. And that's one of the most th impressive things about him. He will not take very many sacks. Second and 10. Skimbo scanning. Defense. Not much there. He's got someone deep down the Ooh. left side. Instead, he goes underneath. Good patience. Picks up another first down. Good patience. I did think, RG, that he had someone deep on the left side there. Might have missed it. Part of the problem is, Jay, he was on the move with Vic. Mm. So every now and then you might have a guy open, but when you're on the move, you know that inaccuracy chance is just so much higher. So you got to set your feet. And by the time you do that, what was looking like it was there before just might not be there anymore. Regardless, Kimbo marching well downfield. 3.30 here to go in the first half. Skimbo throwing out into the flats. Whitney, backup 10-cap player. <laughs> Don't have him with the ball too many times. Oh, man. And look how surgical this is, guys. I mean, these are just good reads. The execution is flawless. That guy looks pretty familiar. <laughs> But he's just surgical. I mean, th this is what the people come to watch. I mean, everybody wishes that they could play offense this efficiently. I know, I wish I could. And here's the thing, Skim's offense has taken a step back. He's become a real defensive style player. Got him. Oh Going for the post. Got him. And it's a touchdown. That's all Tony, that's all Tony, bro. 
What a fun. Shouting out his, his lab mate. Yep, you hear him up there, James. He said, that's all Tony, bro. And we told you it's a phenomenal story. Only in esports do you see stuff like that. And you got to love it. Tony got Skimbo ready for the tournament. And Skimbo's not disappointed him so far. Man. Big drive here. Big the drive. Offense coming. for Skimbo is just automatic right now. What does Crush have to do to adjust? His offense absolutely needs to get going right now. It's tough. You know, Skimbo's not going to miss that read. You know, he's just not ever going to miss that. And Skimbo's so smooth, man. That's the thing. He will take the check down 10 plays in a row. Once you give up that bomb, he's never going to miss it. That's all Tony. That's all Tony, bro. <laughs> I love it. Love it. So here's the drive for Ooh, it's it. Oh, watch out. Uh -oh. Oh. Never like seeing that strip animation yeah, if you're in offense. It's scary. Crush with a critical drive here. And if you guys are wondering why Crush is having trouble to get to Skimbo's quarterback, that's because Crush spends all of his cap on offense. Uh, he's got three elite playmakers. So that he's using the dual cam on three wide receivers and using playmaker and elite on all of them. Uh, just to give some perspective on that, having three playmakers on your team, that's 60 cap gone right there just for those three abilities. Crush rolling out, throws underneath. Picks up that first down. A lot of strips right here from Skim. One thing I will say, Crush still does look pretty comfortable on offense. Um, he's not getting phased by the pressure. That that one red zone stop, yeah, you know what I mean? You kind of got to just let it go. He's, he's played well. I, I think the thing that's awkward for Crush here, Mo, is... Uh -oh. oh, he might have it. it. Dropped it. Oh, I, what I was going to say, guys, is when you're down 14 to a guy like Skimbo, all of a sudden getting three... Doesn't feel nothing. that good anymore. Needs exactly. So now you need to turn these into touchdown drives, which puts a lot more pressure on your offense. Second down to 10. Throwing it to the flats. Shot drops it. I think that was that Von Bell making a play out there. That, that You see a lot of people calling Skimmo for that Von Bell, but there he is knocking the ball out. And you don't see that too much with Sharp catching it. I'm loving Skimbo in this 5-2 defense. Crush is only one of two players to have Ricky Williams oh, as a running back in his lineup. He's under pressure. Ooh. Lucky to get that ball away. I really do, I'm not a fan of that route combo at all that he had out there. I, I feel like versus this defense, if you're going to try to block it, you have to have two, two underneath routes within the post that you can throw to no matter what. So fourth and ten. A critical down here. He absolutely needs to pick this one up. Got him. Under pressure. Deep. He's got and me, every button. but he's everybody. 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 It's a everybody. touchdown. Skimbo went all out blitz there. I don't know if you guys caught that, but he had no deep blue zones on the field at all. Not a single one. And I like that type of defense on fourth down. You know, you're trying to get off the field, but when you don't get there, it's going to be a touchdown. We saw some of that from some serious. Some serious has phenomenal defense when he's running that 5-2. But if you happen to pick it up, there's going to be holes all over the place. Crush picks up the defense, responds. And if you skip over this, it's got to be a little frustrating. You're playing a phenomenal game so right. far. But here Crush is still right in this ball game. All right, Skimbo takes it out of the end zone. Got some space over there. Yes, he does. Got some Finding space some over more there. space oh. okay. to the left side. Ultimately brought down at the 29-yard line. Let's take another look. Again, under pressure. You're right. I mean, he had multiple guys open for touchdown. I, I'm. I hear what you're saying, serious Mo, but I am a bit surprised on fourth and ten that he that Skimbo would be that aggressive. Yeah, I don't know if I like it too much there. Fourth and two, fourth and three, okay, but fourth and 10, that's a long 10 yards. You know what I mean? Especially sure on fourth down. And I can't comment. I've never known what to call on fourth down. <laughs> I've never known. It gets tougher and tougher too. Yeah, if I could play defense on fourth downs, I may still be playing up here. <laughs> if you could pass the controller off on fourth down, you play defense yeah, exactly, the first three downs. Exactly. Second and inches now. Probably see a, a, a run or a drag, drag and the comeback combo on the left, on the right, excuse me. Skimbo moving the ball with ease. Three possessions, three touchdowns. Looking to make it number four. He'll go deep down the seam. That ball is caught. See, Crush is upset, but he's got that Ron Parker. He's only 20 cap. He's not a very good player, honestly. So 
he's not going to make that play over these 98 overall receivers. You know what I mean? It's just he's just not, unfortunately. You know, it's, it's his guy's in position, but he's just going to get caught over every single time. Yeah, it's, it's like a 78 overall versus a 98. Good luck. Tough matchup. I will say that was a good play call, though, by Skim in the sack. Second and inches, everyone's thinking you're going to run the ball. Right. You take that opportunity to take yourself a big shot, get yourself in field goal range. Now he just needs to make sure that he doesn't turn this ball over, gets himself points, and he'll be able to make it a two-possession ball game again. That was a very, very strong play by Skimbo to get himself in field goal range. And second and six. Crush has put him in a, a tough spot. He's already burned two of his timeouts earlier in this half, so he's, he's going to have a hard time getting the ball back. Clock management is so important in the competitive space. If Skimbo really wants to, he can pretty much run the clock down. Vic will fire him. It's caught again. I mean, it's almost routine at this point. That, was a, that one was a little scary, but, you know, you got Moss, big body, went and got it. Goes into the hurry up. Look for the wheel route here. A little deep to throw it. I, I don't like throwing it from this, this far out, but... Skimbo, Skimbo's a little bit better at this than me, so. <laughs> well, you got to watch. He loves sharp up that seam, too. He's been throwing okay. that his whole career. Draining the clock. Got him. They get it off at five seconds to go. Vic rolling out. Watch, he'll throw it away. Not a ton available here. He's never taken a sack in that situation. I can't say the same for myself. He's, he's just never going to take a sack in that situation. I like the fact that he didn't automatically threw it, throw it away. He, yeah. he, he drained an extra second off that clock and then tossed it out of bounds. Yeah, that, that's right. He's not leaving Crush for really any time. Only 38 seconds. Crush only one timeout left. Skip probably making this one of the last real drives of the, of the half. Uh-oh! Oh, oh, dangerous pass right there. A dangerous, dangerous pass right there. Just Could have resulted read. in an interception. Just a bad read. If you're crushed, you need that guy to come up with that play, especially in this situation. Just a bad read. It's okay. You know, it is what it is. You got to move past it. Yeah, if you're Skimbo, you'd expect him to be a little safer here, seeing how the field goal makes it two possessions. Nope, you'll see the same exact play. <laughs> oh, gosh. Skimbo. And that's why I love him. Tossing it. And then he's sacked. He's buried behind the line of scrimmage. You see how he took that sack and get, got that timeout from Crush, though? He's not going to throw the, throw the ball away from that situation. This field goal is still an easy field goal. Doesn't need to, to, to worry about the time. Just go ahead and take the sack, get your field goal team out there, and make Crush burn that last time out. So field goal on the way to make it a two-possession game. Not perfect, I don't think. It's not perfect. He missed the power. Could see He's a block here. Right under that line right there. No Pick block. up. Good. And good. So the score now 24 to 14. If you're Crush, you, you kind of wanted to use that kick return that you got earlier right now. <laughs> uh, this would be a good time for a kick return if you're Crush. Be, Skimbo no doesn't chance. even give him a chance. I, I'm actually curious because Crush, Crush got that at the end of the first quarter, didn't he? He did. So he must have had a little wind against Skimbo because he, he booted that one yeah. deep. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. It's interesting how there's, even those small details yeah. make a big impact on the game. Huge impact. Oh, under pressure! Yeah. Skimbo gets to the quarterback. Use a sack. He can lurk, he can pass rush, he can dot you up the field. Lazarus gave his own Michael Skimbo, a true professional. At this point, you're thinking Crush probably just tries to run it out. Yeah, go to half. Oh, be careful, Crush, you man. Doing? You're never going to score in that Why situation. would you do go that? And there you go. That is halftime with the score 24 14. Michael Skimbo, as good as advertised. But Crush, hanging around, hanging around. Used a big kickoff return for touchdown to score a touchdown as well. Let's take a look in the other game. It's Spoto leading IB strafing 13 to nothing at halftime. I think I'm surprised by that one. I think a lot of people are. The 2019 Madden Bowl brought to you by New Era, the official cap of NFL sidelines. All right, in that first half, RG, again, I just thought Skimbo automatic on offense. That being said, that fourth and 10, I thought he let Crush back into the game. Oh, like we talked about, very questionable. He sent the entire house, gives up Crush's lone offensive touchdown, his other touchdown coming on special teams. Right. But here's going to be a big defensive stand for this game. This is what I call a momentum drive, James. 
This is where Crush, if he can turn this into a scoring drive, get some points, he puts the pressure back on Mike Skimbo. But if Skimbo could go ahead and get himself a stop without Crush getting the points, get the ball back up two possessions, he will have all kinds of momentum. This drive right here is going to dictate a lot about this game. Huge drive on the way. Crush under pressure, right up the middle, and he's sacked again. Oh, he, got our, he got rid of it. He got rid of it. He got it out. Woo! Uh, I thought for sure he was sacked. Something I've already just noticed. Just got it this, away. Something I've already noticed in this second half. Skimbo's running that 5-2 defense. Before, he was just leaving the defensive line pinched together. As you see, he's spreading the defensive line now because he wasn't getting through before. So we'll see if the slide protection still works the same. And if not, Crush is going to have a hard time with this defense. Second and ten. Throwing a bullet pass to Moss. It's caught for the first down. And, and I will say, on plays like that right there, Crush, you're going to need to start getting some rack. He's leaving you one-on-one. -on -one. Cool. Your receivers are out there. There's nobody to help with the tackling. If you're making these catches, you ideally want to make them in space so you can just get on your horse right afterwards. I, re I really don't like that wheel route that Crush keeps putting out there. It's kind of pointless because Skimbo's always going to have a cover two over there. Crush. Force backwards like and throws it to Moss. There it is again. He needs to turn that into good rack. He's I mean, not executing. He's one player away. He's one defensive player away from, from a touchdown. He's out if he gets by him. Absolutely. And a little side note, that's actually Perry Nickerson who has like 40 tackles. So just try to run through that guy. Run if nothing through him. He's fast. Else. That's it. It's a good point, Mo. Good, good note. Look at the focus, huh? It's amazing. Skimbo showing pressure. I like this play a lot. I think this is his best play. Crush. I, I agree Throw with you. High and it's caught. That is a good play. He has the two hitch routes. Which, when the blitz is coming out, you can get that pass out hot to those plays, and maybe you can get Skimbo to dial back on some of this pressure, force him into some more coverage. Just a pickup of three, almost an extension of the run game right there. Second and seven. Third quarter action. Skimbo taking on Crush. Crush with the ball. Crush again under pressure. Oh, his, his lineman just froze. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, he good. is under pressure. We'll find a man. Oh, he caught it. That's a big catch. Deep on the left side. And Crush feeling himself on that one. Boy, that ball took, it felt like it took about an eternity to get to that man. Scary. His quarterback was about 20 yards away from the line of scrimmage, too. So it was <laughs> right. pretty scary. So Fresh set of downs. Fresh will hand the ball off to Ricky Williams. He even though the left side and pick up three. Even though that play didn't work, he didn't get a touchdown. I do like him taking that approach. You know, taking your time in the red zone. Don't just go out there and just throw it to the wheel just because that's your best play. G give yourself a chance to get an easy one with the draw. Yeah, that's a, a draw, a very underutilized run. Uh, it's, it's one of those plays when the guys do run it, they usually will have a lot of success with it. Second seven. Going back to the draw. Last time the Crush was in the red zone, remember, he turned it over. Going back to Ricky Williams. Gets it up to the six-yard line. Brings up third and five. And this is a huge play right here, boys, because if he doesn't get in for a touchdown, he's going to need to settle for the field goal to make it one possession ball game. So this is a big third down right here. This is huge. I'm telling you right now, you are going to see him throw that wheel out. Well, if you nail that up here, I wonder if Skimbo's got that scouted as well. And he throws it again. There's no doubt he was throwing that wheel around. <laughs> Absolutely no doubt. W would you say, Mo, I see him. He's running that to the strong side of the field. He's on the left left hash. He runs the wheel to the right. Is that the way you guys like to run that? Yeah, it gives you a little bit more space over there. The, the, the route's not as narrow. He gets out, out wide a little bit more. And, and also, that, that safety's not going to come over and help if he's in a cover, too. That's a very good point. Makes it a one-possession game, 24-17. Skimbo leads by seven. Skimbo testing the left. The cut it back right. Ooh, Ooh. big hit. All right, this is the third down stop. Throwing that wheel, and he was denied. All right, you're off your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. Hey, let's go! We got some phenomenal sponsors, huh? I mean, Snickers, we got New Era. Both, them up with the exclusive hats, I mean. 
I'm feeling it. I got Snickers out the wazoo now, too. All right, Skimbo on his first drive of the second half. Oh, strip! Went for that strip. Ball did not come out. Like I said, Crush just doesn't have very many playmakers on that defense. Although you're seeing that strip animation, it's Marcus May. He's not going to force too many fumbles, especially against these great, great offensive players. Again, 24-17 if you're just joining us. Crush offensively hey, has two. struggled somewhat. Hey, Got into the red zone twice, turned it over once in the first half. Hey, scored a two. touchdown on a kickoff hey, return hey, as well. Hey, hey. But he's well in this ball game. Here comes Skimbo. Drops it off underneath. Oh. And missed. the play broken up. I was going to say, James, that's a rare missed read right there from Mike. The corner route looked like it broke wide open toward the sideline. Checks down to the drag, gets not, gets it knocked out. Missed out on about a 15-yard gain minimum right there. Second and ten. Look for him to come back to that, that same play with the corner out. Skimbo scanning. Drops it off underneath again. The spin move. Terrible user by Crush there. Oh, oh yeah. step on He's, He's loose. Yeah, He's got what? space. It could be a touchdown. And it is. You don't see a lot of people go to that stiff arm, and that's something I actually do. I love the stiff arm with, with, with Sharp or even a, uh, Vernon Davis. I love the stiff arm. They break off the, the bad tackling players all the time. Wow. I mean, that stiff arm was uh, – the thing I, I like about the stiff arm ball is it, it's one of the moves where it kind of keeps your speed. You know, with the truck, you slow down a little bit. With that stiff arm, you can kind of throw them off you, stay at full speed, get on your horse. And even if you don't break the tackle, you fall forward a lot of times with that stiff arm as well. Absolutely. All right, let's take a look back at that scoring touchdown. RG, can you talk about the stick work? The spin, and then the get off! So the spin wasn't great, because that's just a broken tackle. Kind of got fortunate, like Mo said. That's bad personnel going up against a 96 overall Shannon Sharp. But that get off me stiff arm, that's him timing that A button right at the point of tackle, executing it perfectly, staying on his horse, goes back to making a two-score ball game. Skimbo bringing the heat. Crush able to get the ball off, and it's caught for a first down. I feel like we're saying this every drive, but it really is true. Every drive now must be a scoring drive for Crush. Not only that, it needs to be seven every time. No more field goals. Definitely can't turn the ball over. You have to get seven on this drive. You can't swap sevens for threes, man. Just can't do it. He's down 14 now. Crush underneath. Oh, Broken yeah. tackle. Picks up the first down. I do Back like there. this approach, though, from Skimbo. Now, now that we're getting late here in the second half, almost at the end of the third quarter, he's dialing hey, the go. blitz back a little bit, Drop playing some more hey, coverage and forcing Crush to move the ball a little bit slower and kill more of that clock. So he's only sending four, run, four blitzers now. And that time he showed blitz and then dropped back into coverage. I'm interested to see if Crush will notice that and send some more routes out as well. Yep. Absolutely. And then I'm interested to see if Skimbo comes back with a blitz because he knows <laughs> <laughs> the chess match that is mad. Absolutely. All right, Crush. He'll drop it off underneath. It's a first down. Can he break that tackle? Ooh. I'll tell you what, if he breaks that one, he's gone. Put your fours up, boys. Hey, let's go. Crush really has played a pretty good offensive game thus far other than that red zone interception. Skimbo has just been perfect. And that draws a close to the third quarter. The score 31 to 17. If you like offense, you love this matchup. Skimbo, as Sirius Mo has indicated, playing a nearly flawless offensive game. Crush coming around with 17 points of his own. All right, gentlemen. Let's start the fourth quarter. Skimbo in control. A two touchdown lead. There's the blitz. Great spin move. Sheds another tackler, fights forward up to the 17 yard line. Makes it second and two. And what he does, James, this is a very high level thing that these good Madden players do is he sets this defensive up the same way. He shows them the same shell every single time, but sometimes it's a blitz, sometimes he drops them in the coverage. He makes it very hard for you to make a pre-snap read and forces you to make a post-snap read because the way he sets up this defense. And when that blitz pressure's coming, it's tough to make those reads late. 
Good so here comes Crush rolling out. Get rid of it. Doesn't have much. Okay. Picked up three there. That's a great decision to not throw it away and pick up that first down on the ground. That was actually really impressive right there. It was second and two, and he got the first down, and it looked like he had no chance of gaining any yards on that play. I'll tell you what, if I'm some serious, I'm failing myself a little bit more now that I see Skimbo all the way in my game room running my defense. I talked to some serious, and he said his favorite player was Skimbo. <laughs> so that's got to be pretty cool for him right there, you know? Rush throws it underneath. I thought he might get a fumble there. It looked, looked like I, he was I, trying to get that ball out. I was waiting for an extra animation, just the way that play was kind of developed.